187. Let's go. Dude, this is going to be nice. Do you know where Captain Chuck's is? Yes, I do. That was actually going to be my first guess. I was going to say they might open at 8. Okay. I'll check that out. Thank you very much. Yep. If you know, you know. This is one of the best bait shops in the state right here, people. Absolutely. In Michigan, honestly, probably one of my favorite businesses. Love Captain Chuck's. Gonna go in, try to grab some wax worms. I'm confident in my spawn approach. I'm confident in throwing spawn, but I'll be honest, I, uh, whenever it gets this cold, especially in the winter, man, I like to get jiggy with it. So I gotta get some wax worms really quick. Let's go. That's a Christmas vibes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's see. Yo, wax worms. Awesome. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Couple impulse buys along the way too. All right. We happens. Do it. <laughs> you guys been staying pretty busy still with yeah. all this craziness yeah. going on. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, no, you can throw the receipt out. I trust you. You have a good one. Thanks. You too. Here we go. Let's go, man. The show is on the road, baby. Look how beautiful that sunrise looks, man. Oh, I can't wait to get on the water. Literally looks like a movie, guys. I'm not even kidding. This is unbelievable how much snow is on the ground. All right, let this remind you that we are like for real getting back here. I have tree branches hitting every single piece of my truck right now. We are going, getting back here today, guys. Holy crap. All these branches are weighed down by the snow right here. Oh, that sounds amazing on the roof of my truck. That sounds amazing. Oh, dude, this is a big one. Oh, oh dude, I don't like that. All right, guys, we just made it. Holy moly. Talk about a ride, man. I did not know where that was going for a second. I did not anticipate there was gonna be this much freaking snow here, man. I did not think there was gonna be this much snow. So I'm gonna show you guys just the uh, basic rundown of the setup that I'm gonna be running in, th in this video. Um, like I said earlier, I'm only gonna be running some spawn sacks and you know, I did just buy some jigs. Or I did just buy some wax worms. I brought my jigs. Sometimes I like to fish those those deeper pockets of water with jigs over spawn. Always good to just have a couple options to try a couple things out if one isn't working because it can be on with one thing and completely off with another. So I start with spawn. If spawn doesn't produce much, uh, I'll probably run over to like a jig setup after that. But um, I'll show you guys the setup I'm, I'm going to be running. Um, pretty, pretty much identical to my last video. This time we're actually going a little bit smaller. We've got a uh, eight gram plunger float from blood run, got their surgical tubing on, got two of their SSG split shot. They're 1.2 grams each. We've got the micro swivel, right? You have got the super FC sniper sunline fluorocarbon leader going to be running at about three and a half feet on that. Then we've got a size a three split shot. And then we've got, uh, I think this is another size A3, so I think combined weight they are 0.8 grams each, and then we got a BB split shot right here just to get that weight down. And then we've got that snelled to a size 6 Raven wide gape hook. Everyone's like, gap, it's gap, it's gap. Why is it spelled G-A-P-E? I'm pretty sure that's spelled gape. I thought it was a weird word. I don't know, bro. I don't like thinking about the gape word. I don't know, man, something about it. But you got it paired up on the John Milner. And then we got the mags custom rain shadow right here and yeah that's going to be our setup the water's low and clear like it's going to be today i like to run a little bit smaller of a presentation like to gear down when i can and uh yeah so we're going to be running eight gram stuff today
something bit it pretty hard. I go a little deeper. It was like bam too. It didn't really feel like a trout. It felt a little more heavier than a trout, I'll be honest. Steelhead. This is a big fish, guys. Big buck. Big buck. Oh my gosh, man. I have eight pound guys. So, try and be careful. On the beach. Let's go. Let's go, man. Let's freaking go, baby. Let's freaking go. Nice buck. All right guys, I'm gonna be honest. In my past couple videos, I've been goofing off. I have been using these gloves. I am uh, guilty of that. I have learned, I'm sorry for my past mistakes there. But hey man, look at this. That's a great looking fish right here, guys. Great looking wild fish. What a nice fish. Just gouged them. Hey guys, pretty freaking sweet here about midday and uh, we got to take her probably say definitely around eight pounds maybe a little bit more maybe a little less I'm not sure but this is a very quality fish nice buck steelhead wintered up colors kind of wintered up not, not full yet nice wild fish and uh, we're gonna let this guy go obviously so let's get a release on him what we like to see we let's go let's go Let's do it. Skipper. I'm not going to get out the big camera for this one, but we did land ourselves in other steelhead. So and this one's a little, a little smaller than the last one, though. A little bit smaller, but still a nice, respectable one year old fish, probably. Right through the snout. Sorry, buddy. <gasps> All 
drag. I couldn't even hold them to save my life.